All right, guys, this is a continuation of our video yesterday on how to use the transistor. And again, we've used the 2N2222A, that is an NPN transistor, to vary the speed of a simple DC motor using a potentiometer and the PWM output of the Arduino. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, check it out. There's a link below. Now, here's the problem. The maximum current output of the Arduino is 200 milliamps total, or 40 milliamps per pin. Now, we are using a transistor, and that's going to help us to not overload the Arduino, which would be bad the smoke would come out and if you know anything about electronics they're powered by smoke once you let the smoke out they don't work anymore so um, take a look at this and I'm going to show you the actual current usage of this motor at full power at full power we're looking at 540 milliamps. Alright, so 540 milliamps. I mean, we're talking a little over a half an amp at full power. Um, 540 milliamps at 5 volts, we're talking 2.7 watts. I mean, that's a lot of power. So, what can we do to reduce the workload? and therefore the heat, and heat is the killer of electronics on our Nano. Well, the answer is incredibly simple. I mean, you're not gonna believe how easy this is. We're gonna use an external power source. We're going to power our Arduino from the USB, but we are going to power our DC motor from an external power source. So, it's going to be really simple, but here's the one thing that you have to remember. And as long as you follow this simple step, you should be just fine. All your grounds have to go together. So this is the ground from our external power supply. This is the plus 5 volts from our external power supply. This is the ground rail. You see how all of our grounds for everything we've done all come together? That's important. If not, you're going to have a different ground reference and things will not be good. Now, here's the magic trick to make it all work. Unplug the collector from the Arduino's 5 volt rail plug it into the external power supplies 5 volt rail. We power up the Nano. And as you see, things work. Beautifully. And there's no problem with the Nano. Ta-da! Now you can use an external power supply not only to power motors, but to power a large number of LCDs. Or LEDs, I'm sorry. Um, you know, you can drive an LED at about 20 milliamps, so you're not going to have a hard time driving more than, you know, four or five total LEDs without overloading your Arduino. So, a couple of simple NPN transistors. Well, if you're going to do, say, 10 LEDs, you're going to need uh, 10 transistors. An external 5-volt power supply. And Bob's your uncle. If you like this video, how about giving me a thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?